I mentioned, I think this is the perfect segment for a Monday morning uh, because, uh, as I mentioned, Paul Webb is uh, thankfully taking a little break for this morning uh, so he can join us and talk about this journey that he is doing for such a wonderful cause. Paul, good morning. Good morning, Carly, and good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> I, I love it. You came dressed. We asked, hey, can we spare a few minutes? And you said, yes, I can. I can. <laughs> well, it's it's. we started the uh, event yesterday, yeah. and uh, we're going across. You said going across state. It's yeah. states. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. San Diego going to Tampa, Florida, across the country. Oh, man. So why? So you've actually this is not your first time. So I feel confident that, that you can do it or not going to have any issues. Uh, but tell us why, how you kind of started this journey and what the mission and goal is, Paul. I've always been athletic. And even at my age, 68 years old, um, I've, I've just always been an athlete. So I was doing my exercising. I got an invitation to my 50 year high school reunion in Neptune, New Jersey. So I thought, I'll ride my bike. So I <laughs> so in uh, May, uh, April, uh, March, April of April 20th of this year of 2021, I got on my bicycle and rode 2,899 miles to Neptune, New Jersey, Asbury Park, New Jersey. And I thought I need to have a sponsor and I need a charity. So a friend of mine is a, a mountain climber, but he has a great deal plexus palsy in his right arm. And so he's born with a very um, weak right arm, but he's a mountain climber and he climbed Mount Everest. And I said, what charity would, he says, there's only one charity, Challenged Athletes Foundation. And so oh. I said, Good, I'll use them as a charity. So I started writing and I started raising money for the Challenged Athletes Foundation. You see it on my shirt here. Yes, I love that. All right. So talk about the challenges because you're right here again at the beginning of this journey. Uh, you're doing a different route as you cross country. Um, so, I mean, my first thing was weather. OK, like how is it going to be, you know, this time of year? And I guess that's why you're taking the more southern route. Correct. Last time I went a bit more of the central part of the United States. Now I'm going through lower. I started and I started in San Diego. And now I'm heading across into the deserts, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, staying in the low routes, uh, going through Phoenix and then Las Cruces and then up through Roswell. So I'll be going through Roswell, New Mexico, <laughs> dressed like this, going into a gas station. I'll fit in just fine. <laughs> I love it. So, what are the biggest challenges that you're kind of preparing for yourself? Is it weather? Is it um, the terrain? I mean, what's kind of mentally as you take this on? What's think, that moment where you go, oh, this is what I'm a little nervous about? I think West Texas area will probably be the most challenge. Uh, what it comes down to also is uh, the winds. You yeah. always, it's, it's, if you have a tailwind, oh, there up in the screen, you'll see if it's uh, coordinating with my, my speaking right now. Those are some of the pictures from the first ride. Yeah. And then the challenged athletes that went along with me, she is an amputee and finished the ride. That inspired me so much when I got back, I thought I'd do it again. But yeah. West Texas, uh, there's some areas where it may be 130 miles between gas stations. And so water. The weather is going to be great. It's November and December, so it may go as low as 30 degrees at night, but I have the right camping gear. And then at, during the day, it may be 75 degrees, perfect for riding a bicycle. So you're making it here to Tampa. How far, I mean, how do you give yourself breaks? And I mean, what's the kind of time limit here of when you're gonna be right here in, in our area? Well, I should be there by New Year's Eve. That's my goal. Okay. So if, I, if I average about 45 miles a day, uh, there'll be some spots where along the way I'll stop and do interviews like this, perhaps yeah. in some of the larger cities like Dallas. Uh, again, all raising money for the Challenged Athletes Foundation. But it's going to be dependent on how many days I can do in a row. My recovery time, when I look at my sports watch after riding 45 miles, it says recovery time, four days. I don't have four days. <laughs> <laughs> I start right back up the next day again. So I do about six and a half hours, maybe seven hours a day. The days will be shorter now. I'm not in the middle of the summer. Yeah. So I have to make sure I get off the road. The challenges are um, three things on the road. The dangers are red pickup trucks, um, family vans. And, <laughs> and the other thing is um, rental RVs. 
<laughs> rental RVs. I get it. <laughs> hey, just a couple seconds left. Uh, talk sure. about the reaction. And I'd imagine that's what um, kind of fuels you to keep going. It's got to be pretty awesome when you're working with such a great charity. Right. When I when I finished my last ride and um, the woman that rode the bicycle with me had an mm. ice skating leg, a surfing leg, a running leg. And that's what the Challenged Athletes provides. They provide the equipment for veterans that have that are amputees, people that are, have gone uh, through uh, medical procedures, and they don't get this on insurance. But the Challenge Athletes Foundation provides the equipment so they can participate in life and in sports. And we have a saying, when you participate in life and sports, you win. And that's where we want people to participate yeah. no matter what their challenges are physically. Well, if you want to find out more about the organization, people can go to uh, that website there. If you want to donate, that's where they can go to your website, thewebway.com. Uh, I'd imagine that's where you're going to be updating people as well because we want to yes. follow you on this journey. And when you come back to, to Tampa here soon, we'd love to have you back on, okay? We'd love to see you, Carly. Thank you. All right. Take care. Be safe. Great job.